Good day, fellow investor. We can talk about strategies, value investing, growth investing, whatever, but at the end, it's all about performance. So as we are closing in to the end of the year, it's good to show what I have done over the last few years since everything is public and also since I started investing in 2002. Everything what I do is public on my stock market research platform. You have it's a research platform, so the focus is on research, finding the risk and reward of the investments. And then, because investing is personal, you have to see how that fits your personal investment requirements. However, I also there have my portfolios, the model portfolio, where I constantly add 1,000 per month, because a lot of people have such a strategy where they constantly add something. Okay, and this is what Sven is buying every month with this 1000 then there is the lump sum portfolio how would i manage a lump sum investment started in 2012 and then every transaction everything that i do with the stock market is there and we are going to check the performance since all of this has been launched and more then we're going to discuss also the outlook I have for investing, the value investing strategy, the margin of safety, and then you'll see how this might fit you or not into the future. The model portfolio, as I said, started in May 2018 with 10,000, where I added 1,000 per month. I also did the currency translation so that you also know if you want to compare it to US dollars, what is the performance there. Then the second portfolio is the lump sum portfolio started in January 2019. Most of the money came in February, March and then the last part of the money but let's say started begin 2019 100,000, 130,000 US dollars. Private portfolio so when I have available liquidity and I see an opportunity I like to put my own money if I have some extra into the market. I did that also to 2020. Large portfolio started seeing that I need to own something to really understand it, follow it properly. So I have made a large learning portfolio with also the intention of keeping it profitable, not just for learning, but profitable learning. And there I invested also 8,000 euros. So let's see how this worked over the last years. If we start with the model portfolio, totally invested 41,000 euros, that's now 48,000 something. Okay, started in May 2018 with 10,000, then investing 1,000 per month. So you have to see those are ups and downs depending on what's available on the market. Still good, it's just started, the portfolio is just being built, it will be built over the next 18 years so i'm pretty positive about it and uh, if i just keep doing what i'm doing it will be good then there is the lump sum portfolio started with 100,000 euros 130,000 dollars now we are at 135,000 euros and a half or 162,000 dollars that is good i'm happy with the returns i've made a few big mistakes if not did this would have been much much better but mistakes are common when it comes to investing i will keep making them trying to limit the amount of mistakes but that's it the returns 16 percent over the last two years if we make a euro calculation or 19.7 if we make a us dollar calculation. That's in line with my goals which is 15% per year between 10 and 15. A lot depends on a little bit of luck or this or that. But I think the more I do research that I will be able to reach double digit long term investing returns with a margin of safety. That's what I try to do and that's why I put so much effort into the research etc. Personal portfolio, I invested 37,000 euros over 2020. I sold already something a few months ago because we bought the house this summer. All in all 37 in, 57 out and I think there is just 10,000 or something left in the other money has been now taken out and also sits in cash part of it so okay 57 percent in less than a year that's a good deal for me similarly for the large portfolio there have been about 10 positions on average even if the last position was opened a month and a half ago even that position is up 50 
50%. So 50% on a yearly basis, this would be double the return, but I don't like to calculate it like that. It doesn't really matter. The, what matters is how much money is in. I put 186,000 euros over the last two years, two and a half years, and totally out I'm having 252,000, which increases my value, my wealth, my compounding, and allows me to compound even more as I'm still invested, as you'll see later in discussing performance, the market, etc. Discussing performance, this is the key for my performance. I invested 100,000 a little bit later than the 1st of January, but let's take the 1st of January to make things harder because it was a low market level. But this is from where I'll measure my performance over the long term, over the next another 18 years that I'll definitely be doing this. And if I continue like this, then it will be really, really great. Of course, everybody wants to compare to something with the market. I'm not really a fan of comparing things to the market because then you're anchoring yourself to something else instead of thinking with your own head and thinking how to reach your investment returns. More about that in a second. But if we look at the market, the market did also 50% if we start with the 1st of January 2019 to now, but if we look at he, then I didn't beat it, okay, it will be better over the long term. If we look from here, then I did beat the market, so depends on where you look, when you look, from here when I invested most of my money. But I really don't care about beating the market because it's not about that. And let me show you my history of investing and then you'll see why I don't care about the market at all. This is, is in response to all the comments whenever I mention index funds, whenever I mention retail investing, there are many comments and these were just the comments that I snipped out yesterday when I was answering the comments, the most recent ones on our videos. And many comments, you can't beat the markets when you're doing this, you're doing this. Okay, let's talk. So this is the market I started investing in 2002. So I am born in Croatia, lived in Croatia for 30 years. And here I started, the market was at the 1000 level, 1000 something. I found two stocks that I really liked. And whenever I had some available money, I would put my money in it. Then the market exploded. And here already 2006, it was too crazy for me. So I sold everything. So I said, okay, I'm not going to compare myself to the market. With some money, I did buy myself a nice boat to dive, etc. But I missed this crash when, within this market. I did invest part of the leftover money in the United States market, did nothing special, sold in 2008, October, lost, I think, 25% or something on the smaller amount of money. And then because this was again screaming opportunity, I started buying, buying, and buying. And this was my main position. So it is a camping site, a camping stock with a nice location. They were building a highway towards this. So it was growing at 10, 15% per year, no matter the crisis. The dividend yield was 8%, growing to 15%. So over the years here, I have been buying like crazy, my salary, my everything, paying for my PhD. So I bought here and then 2015, I quadrupled my money. There were other investments that I don't even take into account, but also very profitable shorter term bets. But let's say from 2009, 2015, I again quadrupled my money. Then I invested again a little bit globally, did good, finished with 2018 with Nevsun. Those who started following my YouTube channel back then, remember that didn't lose money on an Indian fraud called Amira. So I did okay. All in all, 5x from 2002 to 2006, then lost, let's say, 20%, then 4x, 50% up, up to 2018, a lot of profitable Chinese trades. I was long Apple, I was long Rio and things like that. So it did really, really okay, even if I had other concerns in my mind. We were buying a house, new job, etc., etc. 35% what we showed 
now, even more in US dollars, but whatever you prefer. So over the last 20 years, I increased my money, let's say invested, not amount because I didn't compound, because I was spending large, uh, moving, etc., etc. But I would have increased the initial money 32 times. So that's 19% per year that I did for myself. And it really increased the quality of my life. I wouldn't be doing this YouTube channel if it wouldn't be for all the investments and the money I received and the freedom it gave me to do what I love in my life. So when somebody asks me, Sven, how do you compare this to the market? I, I don't like those comparisons because the market is investing for the blind. I'm thinking, I was in the market here, out here. If the S&P 500 would now be at 600 points, I would be doing five videos a day just telling people buy the S&P 500 and that's it. But now it's a little bit more riskier. So I try different things. I'm diversified globally and it's not about the market. It's about reaching your financial goals. And I will never get tired of saying that to people. Then another thing is what about other opportunities? Real estate, you can't even compare uh, the opportunity we had and took in 2015 where we did an insane return. You can't compare that to the market or anything else. And if people blindly invest in index funds, I think they miss all the other opportunities because it's about calculating risk and reward. Look at the market, what's the risk, what's the reward? Look at other opportunities, paying your credit card debt and that's investing for me. Thinking and investing common sense beats everything else. Talking about the market, if we look at the psychically adjusted price earnings ratio that looks at long-term average earnings 10 years and compares that to the price of the market, the only period in time when stocks were more expensive was in the dot-com bubble. Even in 1929, stocks were not this expensive. So I'm thinking, okay, the market is expensive. Can I find value investments that I'm happy owning out there. If I can, then I am invested. And if you look at my portfolio, it's just 5% in cash. Next week that might change and I might be even invested more than I am now because I don't like cash with all the money printing. That's why also stocks go up and everything. But I'll try also to own value, own good businesses that have modes that no matter what happens, I do well. If the markets crash, I'll reinvest the dividends because that is the kind of businesses I own. So that's what I do. I invest in a margin of safety and I don't speculate. I like to own businesses. And for example, Airbnb, two days ago, somebody paid, what was it, $68 to own a share. Two days later, everybody is happy paying 140 because of the speculation. And 98% of the market now is crazy speculation. And of course, I might underperform if this continues, but let me show you this. This is Seth Klarman's performance, Baupost Group, one of the best value investors out there over time. Look at how he underperformed the market for six years, from 1994 to 2000. He just doubled his money. The market quadrupled. Of course, long-term story, he kept doing his 18% per year, the market not. And that's also what I try to do. I try to find investments that fit my long-term goals of being an investor, being an owner, and then balance around those needs. That has worked for the past 20 years, and I think it will work for the next 20. I'm looking forward to your comments. Thanks you for watching. And if you like this, always click that like button.